Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Son Goku Innocent Challenger. This is the Tamashii Nation Store exclusive, which is very strange because it is only in, as far as I know, at least in America, it is only in the New York City store. I think they're also selling it in a, in a store in Japan. I could be wrong about that. You can correct me if you know better. But uh, that's what this is. It's the exclusive version. Very strange to only be in very specific locations, not like stores across the country. But this is what it is. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember what it costs. It's not that much, uh, but it is kind of a lot for being a repaint. But anyway, we're going to get into it. I'm not going to do a full review just because we've already seen this figure at least twice before. I think it was twice, the red one and the, or the orange one and the purple one. But I'm going to show you everything you need to know so you can decide if you want to try to track it down. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Alrighty, before we take a look at the figure, let's take a look at my package. The front, not the most interesting thing we've seen. You already saw it during the beginning. It's just black with a relatively grainy like it's very low quality photo or at least printing of the figure you see that i'd argue it's supposed to be stylized but it doesn't quite sell that it looks just more like a low quality print i don't know what's going on there there's the front the side very <laughs> interesting there uh the back same thing as the front well i guess this could be the back no yeah this would be the front because it has the logos and stuff on it i assume and based on the way the flap opens. But anyway, you have a slightly more saturated and glossy version of that same pixelated, not really pixelated, but grainy photo there. So yeah, not the best packaging we've ever seen from them, but I don't know how many people care that much about packaging. They've done better though. Alrighty, one last thing I have to say real quick before we get into this review. Big thanks to Alfonso for hooking me up with this. I'm very happy that he was able to do that, so thanks a lot, Alfonso. Alright, let's, because I don't live in New York and he happened to have a connection. Alright, so let's talk about this guy briefly. If you want to see the original release, it's going to be up there. There's also a purple version, purple outfit version that's going to be up there. It is the same figure, other than the color scheme and what comes with it. So most of this is going to be about the accessories, uh, but yeah, you can see the color scheme here. It's a slightly darker orange and um, the hair is slightly brownish gray now rather than black before. I think the belt also was darker last time. So it's just a different color scheme all around, but you can check that other review if that'll be helpful to you. A little bit of a yellow finish for the, for the logos on the shirt. All right, so that's what it looks like. Let's talk about what comes in the box. Obviously you get the base body and his normal hair. As far as faces go, you get the kind of smirky, angry face that comes on him in the package. Then you get the one looking off to the side, one where he's, his teeth are showing looking off to the side, and then one where he's yelling. Those are all very nicely done. You do get the alternate hair piece that has the wind swept slash motion uh, for like a kick or something, and it looks really good. I like this hair accessory a bunch. That's really the main selling point, I guess in conjunction with the other faces, but it's a big thing. They don't often do this. In fact, have they only done it once, I think, for the Goku accessory set? The windswept hair, I like that a whole bunch. So you do get that for hands. You get the two fist hands and then two gripping hands and then two different sets of style pose hands. You still get his stick for his back. And then you get the stick when you take it out of the uh, out of the holder, his power pole, fully extended. That's it. It's not the biggest accessory, biggest assortment of accessories ever, but I do think the faces are done really well. The hair is nice and then you get enough hands in the other parts to make it work. Again, it is mostly just a reissue. It's not super expensive. I wanna say it was 40 bucks. I can't remember now. My, I haven't been sleeping, so I can't remember anything. It was, it was around 40 bucks, I think, something like that. So it's fine. If you didn't get one of the Gokus before, this would be the one to get if you ask me. Uh, you don't get the Nimbus, but you do get the hair, which is very cool, and I do like the faces a bunch. So, as far as the execution of the figure, it all seems the same. Everything seems to work just fine. No real problems. I haven't noticed any tightness or looseness or anything like that. He seems fine. So, um, there you go. It's a very basic release. Again, only 40 bucks at a very specific location. It's not something you need to have unless you're a complete completionist or completist, however you use that phrase. Uh, but I do like the hair a bunch, and I like the lighter hair on him. It's going to make him stand out a little bit, though it does look stylized, and all the other characters with black hair, they have black hair. So this lighter hair is going to be either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you're looking at it. But now you know, and you can decide if you want to track it down 
or not. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.